Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. This lesson will deal with another routing protocol, Open Shortest Path First OSPF 2.0 for IPv4. Let us begin with the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the OSPF v2 protocol, list the types of LSAs, explain router configuration mode used for OSPF. Let us find out about OSPF in the next slide. An OSPF routing domain can use multiple areas, which are groups of routers. The internal routing of each area can be isolated from the rest of the routing domain. This makes the routing table smaller and reduces routing protocol overhead. All OSPF routing domains require an area zero. Next, we will discuss the backbone area. The backbone area forms the core of an OSPF network. Each area must be attached to area zero, the backbone, either physically or through a virtual link. By default, all traffic from other areas must cross backbone area zero to enter another area. The backbone area must be contiguous. In other words, the area must be in one piece. If a single area OSPF is configured, then there is only one area, that is, area 0. Let us look at tables involved in OSPF. There are many types of LSAs. Each originates in a specific area and is flooded to same. This minimizes traffic between OSPF areas. The table on the slide shows the three LSA types. Type 1 LSA is a router LSA. It is created by all OSPF routers and flooded into all routers in the originating area. In other words, it stays within one area. Type 2 LSA is a network LSA. It is created by designated routers and flooded into all routers in the originating area. These LSAs also remain within one area. Type 3 LSA is a net summary LSA. It is created by area border routers and flooded into all routers in a single area. They are generated by ABRs to flood into the other areas except totally stubby or not so stubby areas. NSSA. There are three other types of LSAs. However, at the CCNA level, you are required to know only the first three types. Now let us look at the second table. Link State Database, LSDB. 